Welcome to 5 Minutes with Pastor Lutzer. Today I'm beginning a six-part series that I have titled, God and the Nations. We're going to be speaking about the origin of nations. I'm going to try to answer this question. Do we elect the President of the United States, or does God? After all, the Bible says that God rules in the kingdoms of men. He puts up kings and he brings them down. How do we navigate that? How does God judge nations? Where are they going to end up? You can certainly see how relevant all this is as we think about our present context, no matter where we are in our history as the United States. Now, I want to begin today, however, by speaking about praying for the United States, praying for our nation. That's where we're going to begin. And I encourage you to ask God for a burden for this country, because I don't need to tell you we seriously are in need of prayer. To think about this, I think of the book of Daniel. Very interestingly, when the Jews were taken captivity and taken to Babylon, God says, pray for the city where you're going to be. Pray for Babylon. You know, my friend, if we were to spend as much time praying for our political enemies as we do criticizing them, we might be surprised as to what God does. God said, pray for Babylon. But in the ninth chapter of the book of uh, Daniel, Daniel prays a long prayer. And I want to introduce that prayer to you and encourage you to pray it. In this prayer, Daniel begins, and there are certain themes that are throughout this long prayer. One is the righteousness of God and the great sins of Judah, the people of God. And Daniel begins here, he says, I turned my face toward the Lord God in prayers and pleas for mercy with fasting and in sackcloth and ashes. I've said this before, but we must understand that fasting is a full body response to God. It is saying, oh Lord, we are absolutely desperate. And now we go to the prayer. And let me begin by saying this, that oftentimes we have prayers for our city. And we pray, oh God, bless the city. Blessed we pray, give our leaders wisdom we ask. All oh, that's good. But whenever you have fasting in the scripture, as far as I know, it always has to do with repentance. And uh, Daniel encourages us in two ways. Number one, he takes full responsibility along with his people for their sins. And over and over again, he says, we have done this. We have done this. And then the second thing is, when you go to chapter 10, you discover that there was spiritual resistance. He talks about petitioning God and the angel comes and says, your petition was heard from the day you uttered it. But he says, I was hindered from coming to you because the prince of Persia withstood me. My friend, today, as soon as we pray for our country, what we will discover is that we will experience spiritual opposition. But Daniel didn't give up. He continued to pray. I'm going to read a verse or two, and then I want you to turn to the ninth chapter whenever you have time, read the entire prayer, but substitute America where it talks about Israel or Judah or the people of God. But notice what Daniel says, I prayed to the Lord my God and made intercession, saying, O Lord God, the great and awesome God who keeps his covenant and so forth, and blesses those who love him. And then he goes on to say, To you, O Lord, be, mercy and, be merciful and forgiving, for we have rebelled against you, and we have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God, walking in his laws, and so forth. I want to leave you with my heart today. I believe that no nation has sinned as much as the United States against the light that is available. 
You can go into any bookstore, you can buy a Bible, you can listen to Christian radio, you can be exposed to the gospel in many different ways, and we have seriously rebelled against God. And as you pray, pray for the nation, but also let's remember that Daniel prayed for the people of God. Our job might not be so much to reclaim the culture as it is to reclaim the church. I want to end today with a very brief prayer to give us a reminder and an example for how we can pray. Would you join me? Father, we ask in Jesus' name that you might help all of us to be repentant. Believers, unbelievers, may they be brought to repentance. Oh God, we need you desperately, and we do not seek justice, but in your grace, give us mercy, even at this late date. We humble ourselves, and we cry to you in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us today. Next time, we're going to talk about the origin of the nations. Where did it all begin? But as for today, my friend, you pray and you go with God. Thanks for joining us for 5 Minutes with Pastor Lutzer. Moody Church Media exists to bring glory to God through the transformation of lives, and we believe this can happen through solid biblical teaching. Access our resources at moodymedia.org or follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash moodychurchmedia. Join us next Monday as we continue to explore the deep truths of the Bible and the Christian faith together.